Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this lecture, I am going to answer one of the most asked query for CS Handed Life Science Aspirants, CS Standard Life Science Preparation. That is, whether CS Handed Life Science Preparation for PYQs are so important or not. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this lecture, I am going to answer one of the most asked questions from CS Handed Life Science regarding CS Handed Life Science PYQs. That is a short form of previous year's question papers. So, do you really need to study PYQs or do you need to study from the model question papers? Now, I will answer this question. I will tell whether reading from CS and Life Science PYQs are important. Then second thing, how to practice previous year's questions. And third thing are where to find out CS and Net Life Science previous year's question papers. Everything will be guided in this video. So, watch this video till the end. The first thing that I sh uh, should share here is regarding the idea of PYQs, you know. Uh, previous year's question, the very first question I have, re do they really make any difference, are they really important? The answer to that is yes, they are important and they are very, very important to your CSI net life science preparation, particularly to the end phase of your CSI net life science preparation, that is the uh, revision uh, time. So, remember, if you watch my videos, I always tell you that at the last moment, you need to have a revision and when we talk about revision, revising all the different topics that you learned throughout the session of practice is uh, very important. Now, <clears throat> generally a person who is preparing for CSI net either have 6 months in hands or have 1 year in hand or they have at least 3 months in their hand. I know there are people uh, who are who are looking for CSI net qualification within 1 month preparation uh, which is not at all justified. Even 3 months is not well justified. 6 month or 1 year time frame is needed in order to prepare most of the topics that are required to qualify CSI net exam. And in this time frame at the last, if you have 6 months in your hand then last 1 and a half month will be a time for your revision. If you have one year, then you have three months in your hand as a preparation time frame for revision. So, this time frame is where you revise. And when you revise, uh, the revision means you need, you don't need to read thoroughly. You should read thoroughly at the beginning of your preparation. You should not read thoroughly at the end in the revision. Just uh, look at small things. Look at the information from tables, from diagrams, from charts, right, for mnemonics and all these things. That will help you to connect the dots between the topics that you learned earlier. Now, that is one side of the story during revision. The second side of the story is uh, practice. The second side is practice. And in the practice zone, what we have, we need to go with PYQs. Now, in the practice, we have questions, right? We have questions. What kind of questions we have? We have model questions. There are different publications and there are model questions published and you can get model questions. It's not a big deal to make model question and get a model question. But between model question and PYQs, always give more weightage to PYQ than a model question. There are students asking me a question like, uh, tell me some model question or a book where you get a model question to practice. I say that, uh, have you prepared and practiced all the PYQs for last 20 years, 30 years? You can trace CSN it back until there was objective and subjective time. There was separated. And till that point, you have PYQs, right? I can't believe that a person solved all the questions of the PYQs for this last 15-20 years. No. They just want new things. They just want to see new questions because everybody is talking about PYQs, PYQs. So, they just want to get something new. That's why they're asking for model questions. But model questions are no good because the model questions, you will see they are not up to the mark. Uh, they are not good at all like the CSI net standards and in these publications, most of them, you will see the question answers are not well given, they are wrong, they are not properly answering the question and also many cases there is no explanation. So, go with PYQs, I will always go with PYQs. If somehow the CSIR net PYQ is exhausted, you have practiced everything, then you go with uh, get, get Life Science PYQ, okay. Both of them 20 years you solve and you are well and good ready for any entrance examination for PhD in India and that is a guarantee. Okay, Now, I give higher weightage to PYQs. Now, the reason because these are the type of questions uh, that you are going to get. These are the actual exam questions at that time and this is a psychology. Let me give you a tip. When you solve PYQs, you will find it easy but the moment you attain a new question, you find it difficult. So, this always happens. When you see previous year's CSI net paper, it seems kind of easy when you see that at your home. But when you see your paper at the exam hall, you find like this time they gave it tough. But no, that's not reality. 
बिकॉज वेन वी अटेंड द एग्जाम देर आर सो मच प्रेशर ऑन अवर हेड सो फील लाइक इट बट एक्चुअली दिस इज नॉट द केस सो ये द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आंसर पीवाई क्यूज आर सुपर डुपर इंपॉर्टेंट यू शुड कंटिन्यू विथ पीवाई क्यूज now the second step the second step i should mention is how to practice pyqs remember this is the revision time this is the revision time that we practice pyqs and during the revision time what we need to do we need to have our notebook that we prepared or uh, that you purchased there are readily available notebooks available these days in the market so i prefer to make my own notebook that is something that uh, is customized to me right so your notebook should consist of every new information that you gathered throughout the study of your preparation so your notebook you are uh, revising it you are you are rewatching all these things rereading all the small notes that are written there and here particularly you need to focus more on uh, more on images more on images you need to focus more on tables okay more on uh, the mnemonics mnemonics okay these things will definitely help you at this moment uh, for the preparation okay so keep this in your mind and once this preparation is done then you need to so let's say this is a unit 2 you are talking about unit 2 cell biology you have covered unit 2 what you need to do is basically after covering unit 2 you need to check check your score after solving pyqs of unit 2 pyqs of that same unit 2 of last 10 years this is something important for this what you need actually you need the last 10 years csi net papers shredded into unit wise unit wise manner now there are books where you can get the unit wise question paper of last 10 years csi net you can get that or even better if there are papers csi net paper books from there you can easily point out with which is unit 2 question which is unit 3 question because the questions are present together let's say first 71 to 77 number question is unit 1 questions from 78 to uh, let's say 84 that is unit 2 question so so they are present together it's not like they're scattered they are present together uh, in earlier times now from cbt mode onwards they are kind of shuffled so you can get this so if you want to get a book with the unit wise segregation of question that is good for you you can get this and you solve the questions once you solve the questions once you get it then check again check your score right your score whether you get more than 60% which is kind of the cut off marks for csi net whether you getting more than 60% or not if you are getting more than 60% your your target here should be 70 or 65% so you get more than 70% you can tell yes okay fine my preparation is kind of good i can move on to the next topic if it's not then you need to again revise from your notebook from the resources resources that you have and when i say resources that can be video resources like this channel is the biggest reserver that you can get so this kind of resources the books that we have that is a written resources notebooks written resources or notebook from any sources that you are getting so revise again and after revision again come back and check your score by practicing pyqs so pyq will guide you to understand uh, whether your preparation is up to the mark or not if your preparation is up to the mark then you move forward and if it's not up to the mark then you should leave it there okay means uh, get back and practice not leaving it get back and practice and uh, check your score again and this process should continue you know this process seems boring but this is the only way to get better uh, to revise it multiple times after one after one after another right then only you can get to the point that you can see some clarity in this questions now basically there is a process of thought thought processes that plays a vital role uh, while answering this question the thought process is even more important once the thought process is clear to you you can clearly see the answers to any part c questions particularly because part b are mostly direct memory based questions okay so for part c question this is the only best possible way to revise best possible way to practice from pyqs and that's when the pyqs come handy okay keep this in your mind and last thing that i should say that this is the protocol that you should follow from pyqs okay and this process you should repeat for all the units that you are preparing now it's your choice whether you are preparing all the 13 units or you are preparing less units it's your choice i have made separate videos on that topic the last thing that i mention where where to find out this previous years questions now uh, 
if you are asking like there are books available out there but if you are asking for an online resource from where you are getting it then we have our PYQ books basically we have the net set go book and the net set go book contains the previous year's questions uh, the PYQs plus answers with explanations not only answers like ABCD but explanations so why the answer is there so that book is available uh, and that is available as a club with the other books uh, so you can purchase it separately but if you want the questions only no explanation if you want questions only no explanation then you can get it for free in our website I'm going to show you how exactly you can get it from shomuzbiology.com just the question paper uh, from the question paper you have the soft copy from there you can practice the question on your own but if you want question answer explanation part you need to buy the complete package of our five book series okay and that is 3900 sometimes there are offers uh, you can check for that as well but for book only you can get the online version of it the online version of it in our website so this is something that I know where I put all the questions for the past 10 years question papers and you're going to get all of it and from there you can practice you can practice your uh, revision and whether your revision is working properly or not okay and remember there's a repetitive approach the approach is that once you uh, get let's say you're getting 40 percent don't stop there revise again check your score 45 percent revise again check your score let's say 38 percent this time don't get disheartened you need to practice and this is the only way to go and why you're answering the questions not like you're answering the same question repeatedly you're answering different questions that's why we have so many questions if you have 10 years question means uh, 20 CSN question papers on average so 20 papers means in part C approximately 4 to 5 questions if this is 5 question then 5 into 20 how much 100 questions will be there so 100 questions 100 part C questions approximately you have for all the units right so it's plenty if you practice 10 at a time you can get 10 repetitive attempts to check your score right so follow this 10 10 rule of repetitive attempts so you have 10 time repetitive attempts you need to work that hard in order to reach a point where you can answer a question by seeing it within seconds so that is so here i'm going to share uh, the information regarding the previous year's questions pyqs remember you can get it uh, or 500 rupees i will deliver it to your email so you have the pyq uh, you will deliver it via the drive link uh, with your registered id and if you click the drive link it will open up uh, the package now uh, this one is the question only remember our net set gobu question only the soft copy of the question that is out there you can see it's 958 pages long uh, all the pyqs for the last like more than 15 16 question papers are listed in here Okay, it may take some time to open up and uh, you can download it and you can use it for your own preparation purpose. Okay, uh, so this is something you can get. Uh, this is an important resource for the preparation of CSN, particularly during the revision Within phase. Seconds. So that is something that I must share. So that's all about PYQ, CSN, Net Life Science, PYQs or CSN, Net Previous Year's Question Papers, where to get them, how to utilize them, whether they are really important or not, they are super important. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you.